Hey everyone, it's Ramirez back again with another little mini update. I wanted to inform you guys about what I'd be doing in the next couple of weeks. So, if you've been following my activity on the page, then you know that I have quite a deal of series that I've been planning for that I was hoping to film over the summer, but realistically, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, I have one, I mean, the Tracker Chronicles is 31 episodes. That's pro that probably couldn't have worked in the summer by itself, but then there's the Duelist Wars, there's Catalyst, so too much to do in one one summer, but I'm actually going to be starting with the shorter of the series, because, you know, summer's halfway over, and it should be a little bit more manageable, so this video is to tell you what that series is about. So... I'm going to be starting with Catalyst. It's a 10 episode mini series, and as you know by now, uh, it's going to be dealing with the supernatural, because I'm that guy. I love the supernatural. I find it really entertaining when unordinary things happen. So let's get right into it. Catalyst focuses on a 16 year old boy named Aiden who was adopted by his parents, and following a year after his adoption, his parents were killed, so now he has to look after his little sister all by himself. Now, for for a great deal of time, he was taken in by Dr. Anderson. Dr. Anderson is a member of an organization called CORE. I'm not going to ruin what CORE is or what CORE stands for, but all you need to know is it's it's a little unconventional, and there was a price for him to stay with these co with the this organization. Now, what exactly that means will come into play about two, three episodes in, since there's only ten. So, after a while, he realizes he can't stay with them any longer. He wants to amend his ways. He wants to be a better person. So, he leaves, and the mystery of the night that he leaves is pretty. It's pretty interesting to say the least. I think you guys are going to like it. So, after he leaves, he starts trying to take care of his little sister all on his own, which doesn't really work out. Like he's in society and people people see they avoid him and they see that he's struggling and secluding himself. And that's where Amanda and Katara come in. These two friends are well, Amanda's a little more controlling and a little more aggressive than Katara, who, on the other hand, she is very considerate, very dependable, and all-around friendly. So, they notice Aiden on the fringe of society, and they try to reach out to him and befriend him. Now, the problem is, Aiden's very untrusting, and he's concealing a lot of secrets, and because of such, he doesn't want to get involved with anyone who has a normal life, anyone who could possibly get hurt, so at first he pushes them away, but the three friends soon find something in common. Turns out, they all love poetry. So as they write together, Aiden slowly opens up about how he has an adopted sis- well, how he's adopted and how he has a sister he's looking after. So most of this is just the first episode, so eventually, Katara confronts Aiden about how about how um about how he's always just secluding himself and how he, how she wants to help him what she wants most is for them all to be friends and even though Aiden's wary at first he eventually agrees but the problem is his past isn't done with him yet people from his past have contacted him saying that they're near and they, their goal is to get him back on their side, considering he knows too much about the organization. So, him and his friends soon find themselves in the crossfire of a core onslaught, as old members and old teammates of Aiden start showing up, and this threatens his new st stability with his relationship with Amanda and Katara. So these three friends must work together to, to survive, pretty much, because... Well, I don't want to ruin anything. There's going to be a lot of surprises, there's going to be a lot of action, and maybe, just maybe, Aiden will learn how to trust people again. 
So, that's pretty much the series in a nutshell. As it stands, I'm still a little short on help, so I'm not sure when the first episode will be. But, there's always open spots for people who want to help out. So if you're watching this video, you want to start acting, and you don't want anything too structured or too difficult, I would highly recommend, you know, you contact me. You can message me Facebook, you can, tw you can direct message me on Twitter. Um, of course, you know the page, so... If this sounds like something you want to help out with, please don't hesitate to let me know, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys an episode before the end of the month. So, I believe that would be it for this video, and I will be shortly recording an update for you guys, so yeah, have a good day and I'll see you later.